in this video I'm going to go over uh, introduction to dimensioning. All right, there are several rules that uh, you need to know before you start dimensioning. So dimension should reflect actual size of the object, not the scaled size. So once you have put the drawings on the sheet, it's a scaled size. Obviously, it's the actual dimensions that you're wanting to dimension. So. All right, so the dimensions measured on the drawing sheet is three-fourths of an inch, but the actual dimension of the part is two inches. Therefore, you show the two inches on the drawing sheet. All right, so number two, include overall dimensions in the three principal directions. You want your width, your height, and your depth. All right, so uh, overall dimensions should be placed the greatest distance away from the object so that intermediate dimensions can nest closer to the object. So they're showing you here how these smaller dimensions should be closer to the object where this would be farther away. And in this next, see how these, they should instead be a little bit farther away from it. Okay. All right, so the third one, include all dimensions necessary to produce or inspect the part. All right, so I need to, uh, See how we're missing something here? We do not know this dimension, so this is actually considered incorrect. Dimension should be placed so that it is not necessary to calculate or scale a dimension. So that's why it would be incorrect. Right, so the correct way is to show each of the dimensions. Notice we have right here our length. We have our height. All right, so you can get length from this one. You can let length from this one. You get height from your front and your right side. And then you can get depth here on your right side as well as on the top view. So this one is the depth. You could have done it here or here. The length right, is from this one or this one, depending on which one shows the most contour. Right, again, height as well, you see more contour on this one, which is why you wouldn't put it on here. And also there's a hidden line here in a minute. You'll see that uh, you never dimension a hidden line. Right, so do not include unnecessary dimensions. Dimensions should not be duplicated or the same information given in two different ways. Right? As you can tell on here, there's several places where they have duplicated these dimensions. Right? Notice for our length, they did it on both the top and the front height. They did it on the front and the right. All right, you get the point. All right, so that's why this is incorrect. You need to take off all those extra dimensions. Right. You're not going to include uh, chain dimensions that add up to a given overall dimension. You either want to do chain dimensions or you want to do the overalls, but not the same. Because you can tell here that this dimension is 1. Right? These dimensions are already here. You don't need that overall dimension with it. Okay. So that's why this is incorrect. Because obviously it's providing the same information twice. So the correct way again, I know you've seen this a few slides, but this is the correct way. All right, so dimensions should be attached to the view that best shows the contour of the feature to be dimensioned. All right, so this one would be incorrect because there's more contour here. All right, same thing here, more contour on this one. So again, you see it again, I know. Uh, the This is the correct way. A dimension should be attached to only one view. For example, extension lines should not connect two views. So you can see the problem here. This would be incorrect. It needs to be on just the front or just the top or just the right. Again, this is the correct view. <laughs> All right, so the seventh one, whenever possible, locate dimensions between adjacent views. So notice how all the other ones that you've been looking at have been in between these adjacent views, except for this one right here. All right, whenever possible, you want to keep them in between. 
It's the most natural location that you're going to look for those dimensions. So you don't want to put any on the outside. See how these are on the outside? This would be in between adjacent views. All right, so that's what makes these incorrect. Again, this is the actual correct way. So these were on the outside. This one is on the outside, and it's you don't want to put them on the outside very often. Sometimes it does happen because this is the obvious location you would look for there. But I'm looking for all of your dimensions to be in between these adjacent views. Okay. So if it's on the right side, it could be here or here, right front side, here and here. And on the top would be here and here. And like I said, every once in a while you do have to put them outside, but it's the, the rule is to try not to. Okay, so avoid dimensioning to hidden lines. This one actually is moved over a little bit, but it's showing that it's dimensioning to that hidden line. And you don't ever want to do that unless it's not shown in any other view as not being a hidden line. If it's always a hidden line in all of your views, that's the only time you would ever dimension to a hidden line. Okay, so in this case it's not. You can see it here, so you would dimension it there instead of on a hidden line. Nice to do not place dimensions on the object. Notice I've got all the objects here. Would be incorrect. Again, that's the correct view. All right, so now we have a new drawing for you. Yay. Do not cross a dimension line with another dimension line or with an extension line. All right, so notice these. We've kind of already seen this worded in a different way to keep the lower dimensions closer to the object so that they don't cross. All right, so this would be the correct way. Right. Notice that we're trying to keep most of these on the inside. Right. We do have this one on the outside because we have a radius here. Okay. Avoid crossing dimension or extension lines with leader lines. Notice how they cross it over here. That's why originally they had it down here. Technically this one could have actually ended up on the right side as well. Okay. Also, just like uh, whenever we were doing the balloons, right, if you've had that part so far you know what I'm talking about but uh, the leader lines point towards the center of the feature and should not occur horizontally or vertical again no horizontal or vertical you always want them at an angle all right so dimension numbers should be centered between arrowheads except when using stacked dimensions and then the numbers should be staggered because right? it's very difficult to read this compared to the correct way where they have staggered them. And you can read it a little bit easier. Notice that these are diameters because they're circles. And then earlier, whenever we looked at the radius here, notice this is a radius because it's an arc. And that's why it's dimensioned with the R. And the circle with a line through it indicates the diameter. And this through tells me it goes all the way through. Okay, so in general, a circle is dimensioned by its diameter and an arc by its radius, what I was just talking about. So this would be correct. Holes should be located and sized in the view that shows the feature as a circle. So this is incorrect because we do have a circle here that you can have a leader line off of. So this would be the correct way to do it. Holes are located by their center lines, which may be extended and used as, as extension lines. Okay, so they tell you exactly where it is based on these center lines. Okay, next I'll be going over the uh, drawing sheet that uh, shows you how to add it to one of your inventor drawing sheets.